Hi guys and welcome to my very first ever YouTube video. My name is Mimi Onolaja. I'm a TV presenter, host and actor and now a YouTuber. I've been wanting to do this video for the longest, longest time but I just never did. I remember a couple of years ago I shot like a little mock video and sent it to one of my friends but looking back now that video was so crappy. But anyway, I'm so happy that I'm finally doing this and I'm doing it with the help of my Temple family. So thank you guys. <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to be doing what I think is called a get to know me tag on YouTube streets. I'm going to be answering questions just so you get to know me a little better. I just think it's the best way to introduce you all to my channel and to introduce myself to you guys for, I mean, for those of you that don't know me very well already. So I'm very excited to get into answering these questions. So, what is my first question? Huh, that one is very easy. I'm most grateful to God for my family and my friends. I try as much as possible to live a life of no regrets, which is why I tend, kind of, sort of, tend to overthink things when it is time for me to do them because I just always think if I look back a few years from now on this and the decision that I have made, will I be happy with myself? That being said, I don't know that I would change a thing, honestly. I really don't know that I would change a thing. I've loved my life so far. Um, it hasn't been perfect, there's been mistakes, but I think that all of that is what has made me, me today. To host my dream show. Now there's a few, there's a, about three shows in my head. They're already existing shows, but I just imagine that they bring this, the franchise to Nigeria and hosting one of these three shows would be completely mind-blowing and a dream come true for me. Growing up for me was amazing and easy. Growing up was very easy. And would I say I was spoiled? Um, maybe a little bit, but there was also a balance because trust me, for every time that my mom cuddled me, she whooped my behind and I'm not even kidding. Like she spared no expense when it came to discipline. So I, I, I feel like I had a very good balance, but for the most part, I always kind of got what I wanted. Hmm. I mean, the answer is yes, for sure, for sure. But it's a bit hard for me to pick one thing as the major disappointment because the honest truth is that this year has been a very funny year for me. And, um, without being too dramatic. <laughs> I feel like the entire first half of this year has been a big disappointment for me, you know, but all of that is over now. I'm done, I'm done with all that. And I promised myself that how I felt the first half of this year is going to be the worst that I would feel ever in my life. So help me God. Um, so this is me just getting up and deciding that, you know what, I'm done with that funk. I'm going to pull myself out of it and I'm going to always try to do something, no matter how little. And I think this video is even one big step in the right direction in terms of get, pulling myself out of all of that, so, yay. He has to be extremely kind and compassionate, not just to me, but to everybody. Like, it has to be a big character trait because I just, I honestly just don't see the reason for people being mean, like I just don't get it. Like if you can be kind and you choose not to, I just can never understand why. Um, a second non-negotiable for me would be that he has to be ambitious and hardworking and he has to show. I feel like that's self-explanatory enough. And the third non-negotiable for me would be that he has to he has to believe in God. It's very important for me that as human beings we have a center and we kind of have like an anchor, something that we hold on to. Fine, we might not be able to see it, but I, I, just, I just can't imagine going through life all by yourself, you know, and I think it's just important that there's always that center, which for me is God. 
and I would love to know that my husband is on the same page as I am. I said husband, but yeah. <laughs> I just feel that, I don't know. Oh, please, can we skip this question? <laughs> I just, uh, okay, so I haven't done anything that has been like absolutely mean before, but I mean, maybe he, maybe he sent me a few messages and I kind of ignored them because I didn't know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> this is PG. Like, this should have been PG. How far have I driven? to get, I'm not going to say that word. Mm. How far have I driven to partake of the male <laughs> genitalia? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say that I haven't driven any crazy distances. It's never that serious, full stop. Davido, Tiwa Savage, Wizkid, Olamide, and Bisola and Jeff Ako. That was six, but I'm sorry. Um, why? I mean, I feel like the first, the last two, ugh, because they're just, they're my sweethearts. That's just what it is. I love them so much. I know them beyond music and they're amazing individuals. And then it's just the icing on the cake that they make beautiful music that I love as well. So Bisola and Jeff all day, every day. Um, Tewa Savage, because she's doing it for the ladies. I actually really love her music and I'm just very happy to see her grow and shine. Davido and Whiskey because I feel like they're just doing it for the culture, right? They're making us very proud globally and it's a beautiful thing to see and witness. And Olamide because he's managed to stay very, very true to himself from the very beginning. And I feel like he has his he has his he has his crowd on lock. They're extremely loyal to him and it's because it's very well deserved. Yeah. Complete and total happiness. I just can't imagine a life where I'm sad or a life where it feels mediocre or a life where it always feels like I can do so much more, I can be so much more, but I'm not, you know. Why are you laughing? <laughs> How is that a funny question? <laughs> well, this is a very easy one. My guilty pleasure is food, honestly. Food is my guilty pleasure. I will stuff my face and stuff my face until I cannot move. A bit of a problem, but a guilty pleasure, yes. a very hard one because I, like I feel like my style is kind of all over the place such that I want to pick things from here and there so this is such a hard one for me but I think oh I think I would go with Kalana Barfield I think I would go with Kalana Barfield I absolutely love her style love 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 her style but I can never pick one person I mentally dedicated the next three years of my life to exploring Europe. There's, I just feel that there's so much to see in Europe. It's such a loaded continent, and I haven't even begun to scratch the surface. I mean, I've only been to London and Paris, so there's so much to see. So I think the entire continent of Europe would be my dream vacation destination. Maybe Nas, maybe Nas. And I say this because I currently use the Nas foundation and the Nas concealer and I love them both. And foundation and concealer is like vital to makeup. So I guess Nas, I guess, I guess. Again, I cannot, I cannot pick one person. It's just too hard to pick one person. But my biggest inspirations would be Ellen DeGeneres, I think she's arguably the most amazing human being on the planet. Um, Oprah Winfrey, Mo Abudu, Ashley Graham, and Beyonce. Ha ha ha, I would for sure travel. 
that's like the first thing I would plan. I would plan an amazing, incredible trip with my friends. That's the first thing I would do. Second thing I would do is plan another trip with my mom. Um, yeah, a lot of that money will go and travel, clearly. The third thing I would do because it's the wise thing to do. Okay, actually, maybe this is the first thing I would do, maybe, would be to figure out like investment opportunities and just kind of make sure that the money doesn't run out because that would be very tragic, wouldn't it? So, yeah, scratch that. That's the first thing I would do. Then I'll plan my trips. And then I would... Okay, do you know what? Scratch that again. Knowing me, the very, very first thing I would do would be to go and have an amazing meal. I would eat. That's the honest truth. Like, if we're being 100% if we're being honest, I would eat. <laughs> so I'd eat. <laughs> then I would sit down with my dad and mom and figure out how to invest that money because it's the wise thing to do. Then I would plan my trips with my mom and my friends. And then, what's the last thing I would do? Ah, I'll give some money to God. So maybe that should be the first thing I would do. Do you know what? In no particular order, those are the five things I would do. That's a very hard question from Chinedu, and even worse because you know how much I love these two people. That's such a hard question. I mean, this is such a hard question for me to answer, but because I have to give an answer, I would, I would turn to my right and go Beyonce. And this is only because I love her that much more. I just think she's phenomenal. And I would, I feel like I would love the opportunity to kind of get into how her brain works and how, just how they put together her career over the years. I'd love to really get in depth into how she's been able to grow and how she's able to motivate herself. It's ridiculous to me how one human being can motivate themselves so much when you own a bed and there's food and you own a television and you have friends. And it's like, how do you pull, pull yourself away from all of those distractions and be this incredible, astounding, hardworking, phenomenal human being like it's so ridiculous to me and I really would love to figure that out and kind of learn from her so yeah my answer is Beyonce I think it would be just doing everything that I've done so far as a TV personality it kind of blows my mind sometimes when I think about the fact that I'm doing this like I'm actually doing it like I actually I'm actually like it blows my mind and I'm just very proud of myself, really. I'm proud of myself for being able to take that leap and chase my dreams, like my actual real dreams. So yeah, that, that would be, it's, it's a pretty big achievement for me. <laughs> I don't know when Jesus says yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll get married when I get married. <laughs> What's are this question? No, I don't. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to skip anything, but I'm skipping this one. Next question, please. <laughs> How about this, Daddy? I'll auction my clothes when you auction yours, because you and I know that we have probably the same number of clothes. So when you auction yours, I'll auction mine. How about that? Heavy, heavy question, man. Heavy question. Um, so if you had asked me this question last year, I feel like the answer would have rolled off my tongue immediately because I thought I had it all figured out. I really did. Um, I would have told you that I wanted to have my own talk show with a studio audience. It would be an amazing show. With, it would be like a hybrid of the Oprah, Ellen show and the Tyra Banks show and a little bit of Graham Norton as well because these are the shows that I really, truly enjoy. And it, I just... It was a huge dream for, of mine to create and sustain that kind of show that would go on to be a household name. It still is a dream, to be very honest. It still is, and I'm still working towards it. So I think that I'm at a stage where I'm trying to figure things out all over again, and that's the honest truth. Sometimes you think you have it all figured out. Sometimes you think the path is very clear, and you work towards those goals. 
but then you get to a point where you realize that you might need to reevaluate and yeah that's where i am now so ask me this question again in another two months i think i'd have a proper answer for you then my all-time favorite movie ever in the world is remember the titans i love this movie so much and like with a lot of sports dramas i think i really like sports dramas um because they're just i love it when a movie is full of so much heart and soul and I love it when you, it's very easy for you to put yourself in the character's shoes and you find that you are rooting for them, you're crying with them, you know, you're happy with them. And that is what this movie, Remember the Titans, did for me. I think it's such an incredible film. And any movie that I can watch, what, 15 times or more, is high up there in my books. And that's what this movie is. I think my favorite childhood memory would be my drives to school with my mom and my brother. I hate exercise so much because it stresses me out. And I don't like to do anything that stresses me out because as I've said, I really just want to be happy and enjoy myself all of the time. And when I'm doing exercise, I just feel stressed and I'm sweaty and I'm flustered and like, if I had a choice, why would I choose to feel that way? But I, I, do, I do understand the importance of exercise and the importance of staying fit and living a healthy lifestyle, which is why I started swimming. So yeah, I'm trying to figure out like exercises or sports that I truly enjoy. And I think swimming is one of them, so yeah. Hmm. I think it would be, <clears throat> I would, I think I'd pick Rihanna because I, she just seems like such a fun person. Like she seems like she's so much fun, I think. I mean, I don't know her, but I think. Um, the second person I would pick would be Debanj for a similar reason that I picked Rihanna. I think he's just, <laughs> he's an incredible human being to be around. I think he's so much fun and it would just be so entertaining. So imagine the duo of Debanj and Rihanna. Ah, I would, I would have the time of my life. And the third celebrity would be Chris Evans, for reasons best known to me. So no, I'm currently not dating anyone. And if I were, specifications would be, I think I kind of mentioned this before, he has to be very kind, non-negotiable, has to absolutely be a kind person. Um, I'd like for him to make me laugh, yeah. And I, I'm not saying that it has to be like a funny man, like I'm not asking for a boovie or anything like that, no. But I just, I just want him to be really witty and I'd really love for him to get my jokes. I'm not the funniest person as well, but I could make you laugh if you get where my mind is at. So I would like for him to understand how my mind works in, in terms of wit. And non-negotiable as well is that he needs to love to travel because it's such a big part of who I am these days. And I would, it would just make me so happy knowing that I can share that with the person that I'm dating. And yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it would be nice for him to be told to. Let's just put that out there. So this happened many, 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 many years ago, many years ago. I was maybe 13 or, actually maybe I was 15. I was in secondary school, it was over the summer and this was summer school. And I was walking out of summer school one day. It was, a, I mean, summer school was over. So we're, we're literally all walking out and everyone was waiting to get picked up. And I was doing that as well. So it was, imagine a bunch of kids, like literally all of the kids in summer school outside at the same time, playing, laughing, gisting, and just waiting to generally get picked up from school. And then in the middle of all that action and activity, one particular boy, I don't remember his, I, okay, I remember his name, but I won't say his name. Not like it matters. But one particular boy walked up behind me and smacked my behind very loudly and then started to snicker and then before I knew it like 
all of the boys that were around him started to laugh. And it was very embarrassing for me, one, because, because it happened, but then even more so because I had no reaction at all. I really didn't. I look at, yeah, I had zero, like no reaction because I was very stunned and I was, I, was, I was a very quiet child as well. So I, I can't imagine like popping off. Like inside of me, what I really wanted to do was pop off and maybe land a dirty slap or whatever. But I couldn't, I couldn't get those feelings to come out into my hands so I literally just maybe I even smiled who knows I wouldn't be surprised at myself if I did but I was very embarrassed and it made me feel very bad this is a tie for me this is a tie for me and I'll talk about them two real quick so first one would be Cuba Havana it was just a perfect 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 trip and what blows my mind even more about this trip was that I was only there for one day and I, it's just so amazing that I was in a country for one day and it was one of the best days of my life, literally. It was just such a full and rich experience. Um, it was food, it was great vibes. I'm talking dancing and music in the streets, you know, um, beautiful, beautiful people. They're, so, they're such amazing people, so welcoming. And uh, I had an incredible, incredible time in Cuba. When I think back, I just remember all of the colors, how vibrant it was. And I think what made me love that city, Havana, even more was that once I stepped into the city, I felt like I had stepped into the 70s. I felt like I was back in 1970. It felt like a city that didn't move. It felt like a static city. And I don't say this in a bad way. I think it's the most beautiful thing about that, that city. And I hope that they're able to keep and preserve that. It's just incredible. Um, the second country with amazing memories would be Greece. Uh, I went to Santorini last year and it was just breathtaking. Ugh, breathtaking. I mean, it's Santorini. We all know how beautiful Santorini is. But I think what made it even more for me was the people that I was with. Uh, it was just the most amazing group of people. We're celebrating a dear, dear friend's 40th birthday. And it was just such an incredibly planned trip. Every day was different, every day was unique, and every day was equal parts amazing. Yeah. Woo! I've answered all the questions! Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you to my family and friends, first off, for sending me all of these questions. I had an amazing time answering them. And thank you guys so much for staying tuned to my very first ever YouTube channel. Now I'm so excited to watch this grow and I'm very excited to see what my second video would be as well because Lord knows I'm figuring this thing out as I go. But please stick with me and let's have some fun together. Before you go, make sure that you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share as well to all of your friends, all of your family and all of your loved ones. Um, also leave a comment below if you have any ideas that you think you'd want me to shoot, any things you'd want me to talk about, anything, that, anything more that you want to know about me or whatever, just let me know in the comments down below. Yay, that's it. Thank you so much for staying with us. And a very, very special thank you to my friend Bisola for making me do this. You know how much he talks me into this and I'm finally doing, doing it. So thank you. See you guys next time on my YouTube channel. Bye.